All of us need materials to work on 3D projects, but this 3D artist and developer turned it into a passion and career as he went from working on 3D projects and renders for clients to a solo mission to create the largest Blender materials library. The library slash add-on in question is called Extreme PBR. So why is it successful and how it can help you work on your projects like thousands of other Blender artists? And what is the story behind it? When an add-on like Extreme PBR is brought to the table, it is easy to assume that it is just a simple collection of materials. But the truth is, this library changed the workflow of thousands of Blender artists due to the fact that it aims to liberate you from having to deal with Blender's note system. By offering a collection of over 1800 materials and a much more intuitive interface than default Blender to simplify the management of all these materials. The story of Extreme PBR is a story of a man who took a challenge of producing an add-on in the highly competitive 3D texture and materials market. And this person in question is someone who goes by the name of Andrew D. Online from Italy. To understand how he ended up creating an add-on for Blender of all things, in an interview he kindly provided to InspirationTask.com, he summed up a part of his journey in the 3D world and explained why Blender was the choice he ultimately made. And he mentioned, In the past, I have touched many 3D software. I was responsible for creating renders on behalf of architects and engineers. I worked for some important Italian and foreign companies, and I used a lot of SketchUp and Lumion for rendering. But I also used AutoCAD a lot, which I used mainly to view the project I was commissioned to do. I used Cinema 4D and a little bit of Max, then I started with Blender and kept using it as I found a really great community. Blender was promising in my eyes, and it was really exciting to develop projects on Blender. With the advent of Blender 2.8, I slowly abandoned all other software, as Eevee allowed rendering in a very short time. So all I needed was Blender and Eevee to draw and render my animated models. Following that, he expressed that the concept of developing his own first two add-ons, which are Extreme PBR and another one named SDRI Maker, came to him after making the transition to Blender. During those years, he needed quick tools to create nodes and materials, and he wanted them to be designed for him and tailored for his work. I mean, what is a better way for that other than making it yourself, right? However, if that is the case, then how did it eventually evolve into an add-on that anyone can use? Before we continue, if you want to learn animation in Blender, one of the best places to start is the To Animate Animation course. If you are a beginner, you don't have to worry about it because the course is divided into beginner, intermediate, and advanced levels so you can take away the best knowledge for your current level and learn at the pace that you are comfortable with. You will learn how to create amazing animation shots that help you stand out with 70 plus animation lessons updated on a continual basis in addition to dialogue clips, feature quality rigs and assets, community access, and technical assistance. So, if you are interested, you will find the necessary links in the description. The secret to this question lies within the Blender market, and the feeling that I'm sure all of us have thought about at some point. In the developer's own words, because of my work, several times I found myself wanting to buy some Blender add-ons, so I discovered the Blender market. As soon as I saw Blender market, I fell in love with the site. I remember looking at it over and over again and I had an idea. Why not sell my add-ons? After that, he decided to work on a slightly improved version of Extreme PBR, which back then codenamed Project Material, and was released to the public in early 2019. After he saw the rapid surge of sales, he decided to set his sight even higher, and shifting his focus and attention to the development of Extreme PBR. The idea was to dedicate his time to constantly improve the add-ons, as it had already achieved some success, and that was when his journey began with this project. So this project began with just a bunch of materials to grow and become a tool with more than just one trick under its sleeves, to take your texturing game to the next level inside Blender. For example, you can use this add-on to texture paint between materials with just a few clicks and a short period of time, instead of having to build complex node setups for it. For instance, you can use 
the blend materials along the z-axis feature to mix the textures from top to bottom, such as dirt collecting at the bottom of a wall or with the help of black and white masks. Besides, it also offers real-time animated water, in addition to an effects layer system to easily create worn edges or to come up with realistic imperfections such as scratches and fingerprints. What I personally prefer, however, is how we can bake textures in a short period of time, or the mapping menu, which allows us to manipulate the UV scale and rotation as well as slide maps. I mean, if you have previously tried to work with baking UVs in Blender, I guess we can all agree that it is not the most fun and enjoyable experience. And so this add-on helps tremendously when it comes to that. Also, please keep in mind that this add-on has many more features that we can't cover, so make sure to check the add-ons page in the description down below. As you can see, Extreme PBR is a highly successful add-on in the Blender community. Yet, achieving such success is not a simple task, because it is a process that needs a lot of passion and sacrifices. Just like how the developer said, I could not calculate the months, days, and hours that I spent on the first launch of Extreme PBR. But if I had to count the hours, I think they would be many. There have been and there are moments when I worked 7 days a week, even 10 hours, or even the whole day on my add-ons. It is a continuous creative process, so everything works based on my enthusiasm about it, and I sacrificed a lot for this thing. The initial experience was a lot of fun. I always had a passion for IT, so I already had a fair knowledge in programming. The most complicated process was learning how Blender's API work. It was and still is exciting though. My work today is mainly the development of add-ons and tools for Blender. I focus 24 hours a day on creating them. He continues, and I think to give the best to my clients, I must dedicate myself to them with the right focus. This work is not just about programming, but it is also about creating tutorials, documentation, and videos useful to people. So, as you can see, this is a tricky thing to keep track of, especially for a developer like him who is working on it alone. And so, to address this, he collaborates with some artists for the development of tutorials and videos and graphics. In terms of figuring out ideas for the add-on itself, he said that there is no exact secret about it, and that the formula behind this creative process is experimenting with new features, looking at which ones work, and then trying to put the idea into practice, and finally making sure it is easy to use for the end user. Long story short, Extreme PBR stands as a highly popular Blender add-on with an inspiring story behind it that had a great impact on developers. Just like how he mentioned, when I launched Extreme PBR, I never expected that it would become such an important job. I immediately understood that this would entail great responsibility. In fact, a few months later, I had already finished working on a version which I then called Extreme PBR Combo. Basically, within a few months, I had already released a version that was completely new and improved. This had a very joyful impact on my life. I could finally dedicate myself to programming along with 3D graphics, two of my big dreams. Also, it is important to be credit and appreciate all the tremendous work Blender add-on developers are putting to achieve this kind of success. He said, the advice I would give to an aspiring developer is to ask yourself two important questions. How much passion I have for programming? How much do you believe in yourself? From 1 to 10. If the score is high, then it's done. Passion will lead you to knowledge, and if you believe in yourself, you can truly do anything. So there you have it. I hope you guys found this video useful or maybe inspiring. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are interested in this add-on and great material library called Extreme PBR, you will find all the necessary links in the description. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.